I want you to know, as a father, don't educate your children with the mind that they will take care of you. There has been a wrong mentality with many fathers taking their children to school. Then after that, they sit and they say, now bring your money, we eat. Let me tell you, as a father, your work is to provide. Your work is to provide, whether you are 8 or 80. Oh. Let me come closer. Whether you're 9 or 90, your work is to provide. Raise up your children. Empower them so much. Let them get good jobs. Let them be stable in their businesses. And ensure at the same time you're so okay that you don't, they don't, have, you don't have to depend upon them to be able to take care of you. If they want to do it, let them do it. But you have structured your life so well. You have invested so well. Even at 80, you can still feed yourself. You can... St you can still pay your rent. You can still live in your house because you worked day and night so that you may not be a burden. As a father, raise up your children. Empower your children. Take them to school and tell them, I'm not doing this so that you may pay back. It is my responsibility. Ah, you're not hearing what I'm saying. It is my responsibility as a father. To ensure that you're okay. If they bless you, that's okay. But don't demand it because you are blessed. <laughs> don't demand it because you are blessed. In fact, the Bible says a good father lives what? Talk to me. Lives what? To who? He's not even talking about to the children. He's leaving an inheritance to the grandchildren. That means you're working not just to feed your children, but you're working to feed your grandchildren. I wish I had a witness in this house. May God push every man to that level. I say may God push every father to that level. If you believe it, shout a better amen in this house.